and welcome to episode 6 of our How To Home Decor series with Aileen of Shabby.ie and of course Fleetwood Paints. Today it's all about skirting boards, whether it's raw wood, pre-primed or whether you're repainting skirting boards that are in situ, I'll show you how to paint them without getting any on your carpet. If you're going shopping for skirting boards, you have a choice of buying raw wood or primed. Now the primed is a little bit more expensive, but it's a far easier and quicker job because all you have to do is paint it in your choice of paint and then attach it to the wall. If you choose a raw wood skirting board, you will need to prime it before you paint it. And I recommend the Bloxit. It's an oil-based primer, but it will seal in all the knots that you will find in your skirting boards and get it ready for painting. If you're repainting a skirting board, you need to ensure that you clean it and sand it first. So I use my favorite cleaner, methylated spirit, and I mix it 50-50 with water in an old shower bottle. I spray it onto the sponge and I scrub my skirting board clean. Now, the trick to stop the paint getting onto your carpets is to put some washi tape onto a piece of newspaper and put it right up to the skirting board and push it down in under the skirting board with your scraper. Here it is again, attach the washi tape and then push the washi tape in under the skirting board. And that way it sticks down to the carpet temporarily and it shows every little bit of skirting board so that you can paint it all. See there where it didn't get before? Push it right down in under the skirting board with your scraper and your washi tape is attached to a good piece of newspaper so you can happily paint all the way down and not get near your carpet. Now for the sanding, it depends on how much paint is on there. If it's an old skirting board with plenty of gloss paint on it already, you need to give it a good old sanding to get it nice and even and flat. Otherwise you're just painting over the other people's lumps, bumps and drips. So give it a good scuff sand and get it nice and flat, get rid of any lumps, bumps or drips from the previous paint. And then you're ready to go in with your new paint. First of all, fill any holes that might be in the skirting board. I recommend this filler, this flexible cork filler. It doesn't even need any sanding afterwards, it's fantastic. This is the primer you would use. It's pure grip, water-based primer, easy to use. However, I'm going to go straight in with my paint because I'm using the same color as was on there before. And I'm really only just topping it up because it wasn't half done the last time. Don't overload your brush with paint, as this is a vertical surface and that's how you create drips. So spread it fully along the board until there's no paint left on the brush before you dip it back in the tin. The colour I'm using here today is shabby light grey. It's a beautiful pale grey and all the woodwork in the upstairs of this house happens to be done in this pale grey. It's available in an eggshell and a satin wood finish. The angled brush allows me to get right down to the bottom and ensures that the full skirting board is painted without getting it near your carpet. When the paint is dry, remove the washi tape. This is a low tack washi tape and will not remove the wall paint. Then remove the washi tape and the paper from the bottom and you'll see your carpet is perfect. 